hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Sharani today I'm going to show you how to make this fall inspired sheet pan meal the first thing we're going to make is the marinade for the chicken so for this you're going to need a quarter cup of canola oil or any oil that you want to use three tablespoons of maple syrup half of a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of paprika. Next you're going to need one teaspoon of rosemary, one teaspoon of parsley, and one teaspoon of sage. Mix everything until thoroughly combined. As always, I'm going to have the exact measurements listed below for you as well. For the chicken part of the recipe, I'm using chicken thighs and I'm just putting some seasoned salt over it. This is my favorite one that I like to use. But you can put whatever you want, whichever one is your favorite one, you can put that. And you don't need a whole lot. Remember, I already put salt in the marinade, so just something so it doesn't taste so plain. If you have time, it's best if you marinate the chicken several hours or overnight before you bake it. That just ensures a much more flavorful piece of meat. Be sure to get under the skin because you want everything to have flavor. I'm going to put this in a zipper bag and I'm going to pour half of the marinade over it. And I'm going to let this marinate until I'm ready for it. And the reason I'm using half of the marinade is because I'm saving the rest to put over the vegetables. Be sure to shake the bag really well so the chicken could get coated with the seasoning. Now for the vegetables, I'm using some rainbow carrots and I just love the look of these. They just make me feel like fall, autumn. I mean, you don't have to use rainbow carrots, you can just use regular carrots. But these just look so pretty and I just love them. They just make me so happy. <laughs> and I'm not peeling these, I'm just scrubbing them really good. And I don't feel like I need to peel them. A good tip when you're making a sheet pan meal is to pick vegetables that takes the same amount of time to cook. So I'm using carrots, potatoes and butternut squash and they all take the same amount of time to cook. So just think about that when you're making a meal. For the potatoes, I'm using these gemstone potatoes. And I just love these because they just make the dish look so pretty. So I have some red potato, purple, and some white or yellow potatoes in this bag. Again, it's all about the looks in this meal. This is just going to be so pretty. And this just makes me so happy. <laughs> Who would have thought potatoes and carrots can make someone happy? But I really am. Like, I just love the way this looks. And it just tastes so good. I have to say, I have never met a potato I didn't like. I just love potatoes. <laughs> If you love potatoes, give this video a thumbs up. I'm scrubbing these really good because I don't want to peel them. I want to leave the skins on. But if you are peeling yours, you don't have to scrub them like I do. As for the butternut squash, I'm giving that a good rinse also. Even though I'm peeling it, I still like to do that. Just because my hands are touching the skin, then it's touching the flesh. And I just don't want to cross-contaminate anything. So for peace of mind, I just like to do that. 
Before I start cutting the vegetables, I like to go ahead and line my baking sheet with aluminum foil. And you want to do this, this will just make it so much easier for cleanup time. The way I like to do this is cut off both ends of the squash first and then cut it in half. But oh my goodness, this thing was so hard to cut. So my hubby had to step in and help me cut it. When it comes to peeling it, I find that a potato peeler works the best. Next, just cut it in half and then scoop out the insides and then you're good to go. Because this is a big squash, I'm only using half of it for this recipe. When it comes to cutting the squash, there is no right or wrong way to do this. I'm just trying to cut it to get about half an inch to an inch pieces. You just want to make sure everything is around the same size so they cook evenly. Same goes for the carrots, you want everything to be around the same size. And so I just cut off both ends of the carrots and then cut it to how big I want them. These are just so pretty when you cut them in half. Well, you know the drill by now, just make sure everything is around the same size. And these potatoes, oh my goodness, they just make me so happy. They're so pretty. They're so cute. For the smaller ones, I just cut those in half and then the bigger ones, I cut those into four pieces. Now that I have all my vegetables cut up to how I like it, I'm going to put the rest of the marinade over this and then just use my hands and mix everything together. You want to make sure you coat everything with the seasoning. I like to reserve a little bit of the marinade to put over the chicken before I bake it. Then I'm going to top it with the marinated chicken thighs and when you put them on there make sure they're skin side up and you want to spread them out evenly on the pan. Now the final step is just add that little bit of marinade and rub it on the chicken skin. And I just feel like that helps it to crisp up even better. Put this in a preheated 400 degrees oven and let this bake for 30 minutes. After the first 30 minutes is up, that's when I like to sprinkle on some raw pumpkin seeds. And you can put as much or as little as you want, this is up to you. But I don't like to put this on there from the beginning because I feel like it burns it a little bit. So the last 30 minutes is perfect for me. You want to let this bake 30 minutes more, so it's a total of 1 hour. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I wish you guys could smell it and taste it. 
Well, I really hope you like this one. This has been one of our favorite meals this fall autumn season. I've been making this a lot. I really hope you give it a try. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help out my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.